Hey y'all, welcome to part two of my 2020 fall decorate with me. In this video, I'm going to be going through all of the decor that I set out for this year, telling you where I got it from, if it's still available, and any other details that I might have. If you have any questions about any of the decor that I've put out this year or any of the que any questions about the DIYs that I did, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I really do enjoy talking to you guys down in the comments. Also, if you have any video requests, go ahead and leave those down below as well. If you like this video or any of the videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to also set your notification bell to all. I want to remind everybody that this is completely and totally free. I have gotten a couple of questions about that, whether or not you have to subscribe and pay. It is a completely free subscription, so please feel free to hit that subscribe button and it just kind of curates your recommended videos in your YouTube feed and tells YouTube what kind of videos you enjoy watching and what to recommend to you in the future. available or I'm able to link it I will down below I will do my best but some of the items that I have are either discontinued not available I got them years and years and years ago or I just don't remember where I got them from <laughs> so any of the decor items that are featured in this video I will try and link down below so let's start over here these are the leaves by party light my grandma let me go shopping through her party light stash because she was a party light lady and she had these there are two different sets there's a smaller set and then the bigger set here and i just kind of picked and chose the colors that i wanted in here these are also party light um tea lights i like them because they have the plastic outside so you can see the color of the candle and they're not metal and then that is just a walmart candle on a little pedestal that I got from Ross. Moving over here, we got two of the Bath and Body Works soaps. I like having one by each sink, that way it's easier, even though we really don't use this sink over here. We mostly use that sink, but yeah. Soap on both sides. Um, this scent is Owl Be There in Coconut Lime Verbena. So cute, Owl Be There. <laughs> This one is Autumn Rainfall Gentle Foaming Hand Soap with Essential Oils. It smells really good. So, um, this is just a mason jar with a mason jar toothbrush lid on it. Some fall leaves from Dollar Tree. This is from, this hurricane is from Dollar Tree, as well as the pumpkins inside. I got the cotton bundles from Hobby Lobby. This is a ceramic pumpkin from Dollar Tree that I spray painted with a matte white and then glitter coated the, t the stem of it and then sprayed it with Mod Podge so that this, the glitter doesn't come off on your finger when you pack it away. So that's kind of why it's got a glossy top on it because it has a little bit of Mod Podge on it. And then this orange hand towel is actually a dish towel that I got from Amazon. And there is a pack of, I believe, eight. So there's the solid orange ones, and then some that are white with orange checks on them. Moving into the bathroom, I just have this little wicker basket that I got from Walmart quite a while ago. And then in here, just some bundles of leaves from Dollar Tree, tucked into a glass jar that I painted white. It has a jute cord around it. This is one of the ones that I used in my summer and uh, well, it was my summer decorate with me. So that's what I have on the back of the toilet here. And then this guy here, I got this shelf from Walmart. The whole thing is from Walmart. So starting up at the top, this is just a jar that I got from Dollar Tree that I spray painted white and I wrapped some jute cord, uh, jute, uh, jute rope around it and then stuffed it full of Dollar Tree florals and some picks. This one is the matching smaller jar that is also spray painted white with the jute cord around the top that can be found in my summer decorate with me how I did that. Also have a pick from Walmart in there and then one of those little pumpkins that matches that guy up there. Um, this is a soap dish from Walmart with a ring holder from Amazon and then the Grove Collaborative toilet spray. This basket in here is filled with all pretty much Dollar Tree pumpkins 
pumpkins. Um, I did take the tops off of some of them and replace them because they looked a little bit too fake with some pieces of wood like that guy right there from Dollar Tree and then some of the cotton bundles. And then I took this um, metal harvest sign that can also be found at Dollar Tree and I hot glued it to this gold basket that is also at Dollar Tree. I've got three brown hand towels from Walmart rolled up here. And then I have this wooden crate with a hay bundle in it, some green leaves from the leaf pack, a orange um, burlap pumpkin with some white pumpkin picks. And I did stain the outside of this crate down here. It was a more natural wood. And I'll show you what they kind of looked like. Um, but I did stain it with some antique wax paint that I found at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that is what this guy looks like. Now we're in the foyer and again, it's echoey. So sorry about that. Oh, Gabby. So up there we have a little pumpkin that I stained the outside of it and then hot glued the welcome sign to that. And down here we've got more Dollar Tree florals with a Dollar Tree hurricane that I went ahead and spray painted white. This owl here is from Dollar Tree. He is painted white as well with spray paint. This one came from my grandma. I don't know where she got this little nest basket thingy from but he kind of nestled in there perfectly, so that was good. I got these little wicker balls and the glass hurricane from Dollar Tree as well. This metal-y looking ceramic pumpkin is from Dollar Tree as well as the stand. This viney pumpkin, it's so pretty. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. He was, oh, I took the tag off. I think he was like 10 bucks, but I got him 40% off. I have like a little glass dish down under there to give him some height. This guy was from Dollar Tree as well. And this guy, he is cement. That is a cement pumpkin. And I just fell in love with it. It was so pretty. And then this is a Dollar Tree gold charger. So this is our front room table. Coming over to the fish tank, I just topped this with a burlap runner that I found at Walmart for literally like seven bucks, whereas on Amazon it was so much more expensive for 15 feet of burlap. So definitely got that for a steal. So starting back over here, this is an aroma melts warmer from Party Light, but because my dad is allergic to Party Light scents, <laughs> I just kind of stuck some acorns that the kids found outside for me in there. But how an aroma melts warmer works is you put the um, aroma melts puck in here and then a tea light under here and then the heat melts the scent and it releases it into the air. Then I got this guy. I think I got him from either Walmart or Aldi last year. And it's just like a little candy dish. So I've got some candies in there. And again, we have the circular gold basket from Dollar Tree with all Dollar Tree pumpkins, um, except for this green guy. He was in a pack from Hobby Lobby. This is a chalkboard sign that I got from Dollar Tree that I stained the outside with a marker, same thing as the pumpkin on the wall behind me. And that was one of the furniture touch-up markers from Dollar Tree in the automotive or fix-it section. And then here is the matching pedestal from the one in the bathroom from Ross. And then I got this Dollar Tree pumpkin. It's actually one of their jack-o'-lanterns, but we decorated him for fall, so we turned him around. And then I just glued on a different type of stem because this one looked cuter. And then all of these little leaves are the battery-operated leaves from Amazon, which I will link down below. And then this little sign from Amazon. This is a 
oil lantern that I DIY'd. This is just one of the Dollar Tree glass ramekins, flipped upside down and painted gold with a piece of ribbon painted gold, a little wooden dowel, and then a little circle cut out and all painted gold just to kind of resemble the oil lanterns. And then these two pieces are glued together. All of this is from Dollar Tree except for the candle. And then this I had last year. This is a Grove Collaborative bucket actually. And then I just stuck a bunch of Dollar Tree florals in that. I fell in love with these little signs from Walmart. You are the apple to my pie. It was just so cute. It's a little mason jar. And then I got um, one of these white pumpkins from a Hobby Lobby pack. And then this is another party light item that my grandma gave me. And that's a party light candle in there. So the built-ins over next to the TV, I've got some Dollar Tree leaves spread out down here with a wooden Dollar Tree charger with some of the little LED leaves. Those are battery operated too with one of the burlap Dollar Tree orange pumpkins. This guy was from an Amazon pack, and then this one was from Hobby Lobby. I painted him white and then added back in the dimension to the little grooves in the pumpkin, and then repainted his stem because he got a little too white up there. <laughs> and then up here, this was my daughter's favorite. She could not wait to see how this owl turned out. So what I did here, as I took some Dollar Tree hardback books and I just refaced them with some wrapping paper. And then I got some letters from Hobby Lobby and then wrote fall leaves and pumpkins on there or their stickers, so yeah. Um, this is a Dollar Tree owl that we painted white and then sanded off the paint to make him look a little bit more distressed. These are two of our pumpkins that we made. Oh wait, no, this one is one that we painted with the glitter stem. This guy was from a pack from Hobby Lobby. This guy was from the same pack from Hobby Lobby. This was original to Dollar Tree, so he's green with like little leaves carved in him with a gold stem. Did I say Hobby Lobby? I meant Dollar Tree. This queen, he was Dollar Tree. And then this guy was from Dollar Tree too that I got around the springtime. And then that's what that rattan um, wreath looks like from Dollar Tree that you can just kind of feed the picks into to create a wreath. But I didn't paint him, I just kind of left him as, as he was as a background piece. Then up here, another pumpkin from that either Amazon or Hobby Lobby pack. This is a candle that I had burnt out last year but I wanted to keep the jar because it's just so pretty. It's like a mercury glass. I got that from Aldi last year. And then these two I got from Dollar Tree in the amber and the crimson or maroon or cranberry color. And this one's like a square, it's super cool. And this one is cylindrical. So sorry about the horrible lighting, but it's now dark outside. And here's a Gabby. So I got these fairy lights off of Amazon and they do change color with this little remote right here, but you have to be pointing it at the part where it plugs in. Gaffy's eating her dinner with her little fall little mat down there. So if you hear munching, that's her. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, so I got the, this remote controlled, it's like 15 feet of fairy lights that I put around the TV and you can change the color. So that's going to be really cool for Christmas and fall and whenever I feel like using them. Um, this garland, I got two separate strands of garland from Walmart. Moving over to this side here, I got that crate up there from Ross. It's got like a little chalkboard sign on the other side, so I just kind of flipped it around. This is like mummy cloth in the Halloween section of Dollar Tree, but I liked the white and thought it looked kind of like cheesecloth, like a really, really loose cheesecloth. And then some Dollar Tree leafy florals. Moving on down, this burlap 
style pumpkin with the gold glitter on it from Hobby Lobby. This is the largest pumpkin in the pack that I got from Amazon. These two guys I got from Dollar Tree along with these leaves. These are part of the pack that I got of 50. This is one of the whispering leaves, the smaller pack from um, Party Light. And then these are just battery operated candles that I got off of Amazon. Down here, this is a DIY project that I did with the kids. These are just little beads that I got off of Amazon, some wire from Dollar Tree, some of those wood pieces from Dollar Tree, and these wooden nickels that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just kind of put them all together into a pumpkin. I will try and link the DIY down below that I watched to um, make this. I did not film myself doing it because it was a mission to try and get this done. And it's not for the faint of heart. It's definitely difficult holding all of those pieces of wire trying to feed them through the wooden nickels. <laughs> so just be patient. It will come out. Um, this little, I guess it'd be a cake stand, but I put candles and stuff on it. I got from Marshall's. Marshall's. Um, I think in like the spring or something. These leaves are part of the pack from Dollar Tree as well. This is the larger of the whispering leaves in the orange color. This pumpkin I got from Dollar Tree and left him just as I bought him. I loved this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. It was like a copper hammered metal looking one, but he's wood. And the only wood metal part is the leaf up here. So he's actually pretty durable. And then we already saw Gabby's little mat down here for her water and her food. Got that off of Amazon. Over here on top of the safe, we have this sign that I got from Walmart. This is a party light pumpkin house little doodad. I've got one of those battery operated candles in there as well. Here is a mercury glass pumpkin that I got from Aldi last year. I do have another one sitting up on top of the um, built-in, but this one is, oh, he went out. I had lit him, but he went out. There's still um, wicks left in these. This is another trivet that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. And then this was a decorative piece that my grandma used to use when she did party light. So I just kind of stuck it on the lamp there. So yeah, that is the top of the safe. And these are the built-ins. Here is probably my favorite part of the whole entire house. It is just so cute, so rustic looking, and so cozy. So, starting at the top here, again, there's these leafy garland that are pre-lit, uh, battery operated that I got from um, Amazon. Then up here, let's see, oh, there's my hand. <laughs> up here, I just glued two candlesticks together and then spray painted it white. Those are from Dollar Tree, the crystal ones. And then on top, I put a um, wicker pumpkin pick from Hobby Lobby, and I just kind of cut the pick off of it. Next to him on the lower stand is one of those um, cloth pumpkins. Then I have another owl from Dollar Tree that I spray painted white. Let me get a little bit closer. Another one of those signs from Walmart. Give me pumpkin to talk about. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so cute. Ooh. I got one of these signs from Dollar Tree that I DIY'd the back of it. Here, let me try and turn it around so you can see which one it is. Um, and then I got these little ornament things that I just spray painted gold. I didn't put it down because I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, so we'll see. Ah! I just knocked them over. So this was what the sign originally looked like, but I wanted to do something a little bit more plain because I have more of a simplistic style. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Stay. Oh, put him back. Put him back. It's, oh my goodness. Okay, we're struggling. 
for struggling. Okay, I'll have to fix him back up later because he's a little wonky there, but I give up. Uh, I got this little pumpkin. He's supposed to hold a tea light, but I kind of like him just the way he is right there from Dollar Tree. I got three, no, six of these crates from Dollar Tree that I just kind of hot glued together, stained them, and then put a bunch of Dollar Tree leafy florals in there with some pumpkins thrown in. Here is another one of those pumpkins from Dollar Tree, the ceramic ones that I spray painted white and put the glitter stem on. Another one of those signs from Walmart, super cute. The other pumpkin from Dollar Tree that I DIY'd. Here, I just literally stacked these together and hopefully I don't knock over my florals from Dollar Tree because they're set precariously in there, but these are just, oh, there we go, I knocked it over stay. <laughs> Those are just stacked together and they were orange and super cute. There is one of those pumpkins there. Oh wait, that guy down there was from an Amazon pack that I got of like seven, five or seven. This guy was the velvet feeling pumpkin. This was our doggy wolfer. So we have him always up there with us. And then this is another one of those ceramic pumpkins with the glitter stem and three more of the same orange, sorry, the light, the same orange little glass things. And then the other wicker pumpkin with the pick chopped off of it. So then moving on down here, I don't have it just yet, but I am going to be getting a cinnamon broom to put in here, but I got the grass and the wicker, the rattan looking pumpkins or the raffia looking pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. And then the cotton stem was from Walmart. And I've got all my lanterns here. This lantern was from Walmart. He was about $17 in the candle section, such a steal. Then this one was from Amazon. This candle goes with this guy, but I liked the difference in height having the skinny guy and the skinny one and the fat one and the fat one and then tall, short, you know what I mean? So this guy was from the Target dollar spot. He was about five bucks. Two little mini rattan pumpkin picks. I took the picks off of those as well. Another one of those pumpkins from the Amazon pack. And there I've got a tray to hold all of my candles. Our fireplace is actually not functional because we redid the porch roof and the flue is cut off. Not that we ever use the fireplace in Florida. So it was just for decoration. I got this pack of nine remote control flicker candles from Amazon and I will try and link that below. These ears of corn were in my grandma's um, party light kit that she used to decorate her tables with. I don't think that I can link anything like them, but you can probably find something similar at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's or something like that. This gourd was from Walmart. I just painted him white and then stuck some shading in on like the little grooves to make him look a little bit more realistic. A little gourd. And then over here, this pumpkin was from the Amazon pack. These two raffia pumpkins were a DIY project that were a little want want. <laughs> it didn't really turn out how I would have liked. They're a little messy looking, but still pretty cute. You just get the bundles of raffia from the Dollar Tree and fluff them out to be circles and then glue a stick on top. Super simple. Little pine cone. This crate was from Hobby Lobby. And then this was my favorite piece. This is a large rattan pumpkin that's pre-lit from Hobby Lobby this year. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is my favorite piece. So yeah, that is what, oh, forgot one thing. Forgot this one last bit. I made this wreath, wreath <laughs> from Dollar Tree florals. And then it's just one of those little Dollar Tree rattan I think it's like 14 inch maybe a foot but yeah I hand made that and I think if I have any of the footage of the DIYs that we did I'll go ahead and insert them in with whatever project I was doing at the time so but yeah this is my probably favorite part of the house 
and I can't wait to see it all lit up at nighttime tonight. So over here next to where I usually sit in the reclining chair, I've got this candle that I got at TJ Maxx. It's a sand and fog soy blend candle and in the scent, apple cider. Underneath him, I've got a little trivet that's in the shape of a pumpkin. So cute. I got that one at Hobby Lobby. Next to that, I have some Dollar Tree florals in a Dollar Tree um, little glass container that I painted white with the jute uh, wire on it. This mug I got from Hobby Lobby, obsessed. So cute. And then I have underneath it a um, marble trivet or coaster. And I am going to be getting another table for right here. This is a TV tray. Super fancy. I know. <laughs> um, but I wanted something that I could transition into our new home as well. And I wasn't sure what I really wanted. So we're going to kind of poke around, see what we can't find for this area. Or we might just leave it like this until we move. Who knows? But yeah, this is our area right next to the recliner. On the other side of the recliner, we have this little apple barrel, or, apple orchard barrel um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was literally like $2, so such a steal. And then I have this throw from Amazon underneath it. I have another throw from Amazon, super cozy, super comfy, and they're pretty lightweight too. You don't want something super duper thick in Florida. It's just so ridiculously hot. It's just like after a shower, when you want to feel nice and cozy at night, when you're curled up with a book, they're nice to have. And actually all three of these blankets throws are from Amazon. So I will try and link those all down below. Here next to the utility closet, I made this sign from Hobby, Hobby Lobby, from Dollar Tree Arrows. And I just painted them with white chalk paint, distressed them with the, um, antique wax and then distress them along the edges as well and then I printed this paper or I printed these the uh, words out on paper and then traced the back of them with a pencil and then colored over the pencil on paper uh, I'll have to I'm not explaining that very well I'll kind of insert something off to the side here and show you how I did that but yep yeah, I made this sign and it looks perfect right here I saw somebody else get this. I can't remember who it was though. I'm just drawing a blank. But this is the hearth in hand and I just thought that it was the most prettiest wreath. It looks like dead leaves, but it is just so pretty. And I knew that I wanted to decorate this door with it as soon as I saw it. And then moving over to the kids educational wall here. I did a little bit of sprucing and decorating. So I kept the Love Grows Here sign and just kind of scooted it over, added a couple of pics. I kept our clock and then the Happy Fall, y'all. These, this is a pic, this is a pic, and then this sign all came from Walmart. Actually, I think this Love Grows Here sign came from Walmart too. And then up here, whoops. Um, this galvanized can came from Amazon. These are Dollar Tree florals. This came from Walmart. And then this guy was Target Dollar Spot, but I showed him in my last video that I talked about the kids' education wall. And these wall hangers are from Amazon as well. They're not necessarily fall decor, but they are from Amazon. Moving on to the table, this is the burlap runner that I got from Walmart. Again, I got 15 feet for like six bucks. So I was able to do both the fish tank and the table and I didn't cut it too, too long. Just to about there on either side. And this table seats six to give you an idea. So this burlap runner is from Dollar Tree in the craft section. And then I got these burlap leaves from Dollar Tree and they are stuck down because if you can see, they're like a pick that I've fed through like a bobby pin. So whenever I have to set the kids up for school, I just pick the whole thing up and set it on the counter. 
this trough I got from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like 15 bucks, but I got it on sale 40% off. There are these two um, larger pine cones that were picks from Hobby Lobby. These three braided wicker pumpkins or rattan, are they rattan? They're more like raffia. Um, pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. This rolled pieces of glitter are so cool. It's from Dollar Tree. My acorns were in a pack with some smaller um, pine cones from Hobby Lobby. And then these are the cotton bundles from Hobby Lobby as well. And then underneath it, I have the lit um, leaf garland. And then moving into the kitchen, I really didn't do too much here. Sorry, my faucet is in the way. <laughs> but I got these leafy um, LED lights that are battery operated from Dollar Tree. I put two of them up here. I got these green and white pumpkin and gourd mixture bag from Hobby Lobby. And then this galvanized watering can, which was pre-filled with the um, floral here. And then I added this pumpkin. Uh, this came from Walmart and then these were in a pack at Dollar Tree. And then of course, I have my apple cider scent dish soap and the Don't Stop Be Leafing orange vanilla swirl from Bath and Body Works. I thought I had apple cider scented dish soap from um, Mrs. Myers, but I don't. And this is my only bottle of fall scented dish soap. And I'm down to probably about this much left of my apple cider scented multi-surface spray. So we are gonna be placing an order tonight for some fall scents because I cannot be without them. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today in these past two videos, the part one and part two of my fall 2020 decorate with me. Like I said before, if there's anything that I can link down below, I definitely will, including any of the DIY projects that I just could not film properly or give them the proper um, attention that they've deserved. So I'll definitely link everything that I can down below. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great fall, y'all. Bye.